like about science is that you get to do loads of experiments. You work together, collaborate, and you do exotic things. I like the investigations because um, you get to find out lots of stuff. All the teachers just make it really fun. We did a bacteria lesson and they used like Rice Krispies of bacteria and that was really good. In 2007, Montini Primary School in Sheffield received specialist science status, an achievement that's seen their science teaching go from strength to strength. What it's meant for the school is that we've been able to get involved in lots of science projects because we've had additional funding. We've been able to work with lead science professionals. And we've had lots of inset time and training days where we can find out new initiatives in science and we can pass them on to the staff. It's meant that we can fund extra science trips and extra visitors into school which can help to bring science alive for the children. So very lucky this afternoon we've got lots of adults that have come to help. Hopefully you're going to come up with some questions that we could investigate in our classroom this afternoon. Before we do that I've got our microscope here. So I'm going to find a worm. Let's see if I can find a nice big juicy one. Oh put your hand up. If you can tell me about the worm, it might be about how it moves or what it looks like. Brandon? It's like a snail because um, it's got a slime on it so it can move. Right, so you think it might be a little bit slimy to help it slither along? Montini always put on an innovative science week from which several ideas have continued. One of these means bringing visitors in, but it's not the usual visitor you might expect to see in a science lesson. I want you've got a big piece of paper on your table and I want you to see if you can come up with as many questions as you can that you could investigate this afternoon. Josh, do you want to go and sit with your mum? Caitlin, do you want to go and sit next to your mum? Alicia, do you want to go and sit with your dad? Alyssa, go and sit with your dad. Yeah. Right then, what should we investigate then about worms? Uh, to see if you like food. What kind of food? We've got all the fruit. I know what I want to investigate. Whether they like day or night. No, just cross it out and just put, do they like water? You don't have to put this there. Cross that one. No, no. Leave it at that. Right, there you go. Oh, I'm doing two. You can do if you want to do two. What other do questions they, shall we ask? Like, do they, do they have any stripes? You could put that down. Or oh, worm stripe. Last year we had a bring a parent to school afternoon, which was just really an initiative to get more parents involved in what their children are doing at school and make them more aware. But it wasn't science based, it was really up to the class teacher. So I thought with us having the special science status, it would be a good idea to make parents more aware really of how science is impacting on children's learning in school and how it's becoming a much more creative subject. Right, that's his plan. This is what we're going to make. Just so, cross rice crispies out. Right, we'll flakes. cross rice crispies out. Right, cornflakes. Whoa, you're a cheeky one, are you? Where are you going in there? Which corner? They go in that corner, right then. So if we pour all in there, if we pour some in, and then, then we can pass it on to your friends, can't we? We're making a mountain, so we need plenty. That's it. Daddy's going in mud. That's my dad's stimulant. Try it with cornflakes. I think he likes cornflakes. Disappearing in the cornflakes. It's soil, right? Oh, he's off. See if he likes cornflakes. Let's leave him. Mama, that's what's stuck in Stella tape. And I think that's all going to go out. They're all going to soil. I think they all like the soil. Right, if you can just look this way then, please. Do you want to put your hand up if you can tell me something interesting that you found out? If maybe you find an, found an answer to your question or maybe you've discovered something else that you didn't know when we started this. Josh? They, they didn't like hot or cold. Right, so you found it didn't really matter whether you, you put ice cubes in one side, didn't you, and some warm paper in the other and they didn't seem to mind which side they went to. I think the children have really enjoyed showing 
their parents, what we're getting up to in our science lessons. And obviously I think it's good that the children are getting the opportunity to talk about their learning with the parents, because I think sometimes when children go home, they don't always comment on what they've been doing at school. So I think it's really nice for both children and parents. I think it's good to come in and uh, help out with, with kids and uh, you know listen to what, what they've got to say, their different uh, examples and uh, experiences with worms, so it's really good. Yeah, I just like getting involved and know oh, what's out at normal for me all see it like and other children, it's fine. I just think it's important to help the children with their learning, uh, see how they are working at school so you can help them at home. It takes me back to my school days. I can't remember doing anything like this. So it's got to be good. Next thing as a parent, you'll see how they teach science so you can then support them at home. So. And when they're talking about the school, when they come home and tell you about it, it's nice that you've been involved as well. So. Yeah. I think this is brilliant, it's great and I enjoy it more than they do I think but now joining in and that and it's been nice to come to school and see what they do because as parents we don't really see it so it's great to come in and, 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 and do that and I think it's brilliant, I love it. OK, our task today then, you're going to see if you can write a science song. Explain the cross-curricular approach is becoming increasingly important in primary teaching. And Montini work extra hard to make sure topics covered in science link in with literacy, numeracy, ICT, art, drama, music and D&T. And you're going to write a science song to a tune and the tune's going to be either Hickory Dickory Dock or Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. And what you're actually going to be trying to do is explain a science fact. I think our school really stands out for science because we really bring science alive for the children. We've been following the creative curriculum in school now for a couple of years, so looking at each half term having like a unit, so for example dinosaurs or the ocean, um, and what we're trying to do is bring all areas of learning to that unit, so making sure that you cover some literacy text based around that, link some maths in, some art, drama, and we've been looking at various ways of recording science, so it could be newspaper reports, it could be by writing a song, it could be by acting out a role play, it's actually then feeding into other subject areas and making it more meaningful for the children. Holly's group has chosen the science question, how are shadows formed? Have you taken on characters each? Uh, yep, Holly, you're a clock, Cut. you're a mouse and over here, you're the light source. Okay then girls, when you're ready. Hickory dickory dock, the mouse ran up the clock. It blocks the light, performs a shadow, hickory dickory dock, tick tock. Well done, give them a clap, well done girls, excellent. Right, can you get back to those positions exactly what you were then, exactly? You know what I'm going to say, don't you Courtney? Get back to your position exactly, right, okay. And I'd like you to have a look at this, right? We've got Miss Light Source here shining, rah, rah, rah. We've got little squeaky mouse over here. And Shadow. beside her is Shadow. Is any, would anybody like to comment on the position of Courtney? Get back to where you were. Would anyone like to comment on that? Uh, Bethany? The mouse is a... The shadow's supposed to be behind the mouse. Well done. And at the moment, I know she shuffled a bit, but get back to where you were, right? So you've got light source here who is shining, and the shadow's there. So you stay still. You come up and move her where you think she should actually be. OK, excellent. Very well done. You know what, guys? You've been absolutely fab today. Great work on your key skills. Fantastic science facts. Let's give yourselves a round of applause. Well done, guys. One successful idea born from Science Week is WOW Workshops, a series of fun, exciting inquiries covering lots of different topics designed to enthuse all pupils. Right, today we've got a special experiment to do. What we do is we have um, mixed year groups. We have ones and twos, threes and fours and fives and sixes mixed together and they get the chance to visit four workshops within the week. And we call them WOW workshops this year because we've been doing lots of work on scientific inquiry, the different types of scientific inquiry such as fair testing, um, classifying um, and we wanted the teachers to really focus their workshops on scientific inquiry rather than knowledge based workshops. Today Year 5 are investigating bottle rockets and teacher Richard Owen begins a topic with a related story. The bears in the story have run out of rocket fuel and are stuck in space. 
The pupils will have to conduct an inquiry into how they can get the bears back home safely. The fuel tank is empty. We're stuck on Mars. Erica thought very hard. The rocket had used 10 jars of honey to fly to Mars. So, it must need another 10 to fly home. The honey, he said, and he ran to look in the cupboard. There were only five jars left. Well, it's no use getting halfway home, said Erica. And she licked her paws thoughtfully. We're going to leave it there. Now, Eric and Erica have got a problem. What I'd like you to do now is just turn to face the whiteboard. On here, we've got what we're going to do and how we're going to do it. What we're going to do today is help Eric and Erica get home from Mars. How are we going to do it? Find out which rocket goes further and why. If you turn, you'll see some bottles and a measuring cylinder and a jug of water. Here's where I need some volunteers. Because what we're going to do is make some bottle rockets and we're going to go outside and launch them to see which bottle we need to send to Mars with the extra honey to get Eric and Erica home. In our school we focus on skills for learning. The skills for learning are creativity, collaboration, communication, independence, reflection and self-esteem. And what we try and do is focus on one of those skills each half term. So for example, creativity, we focused on that in autumn term and we were looking at being more creative with our ways of recording rather than it just being in science books or literacy books, thinking about how we could produce models or artwork or use drama of ways of recording, how we could link ICT in. We're actually involved in a project at the moment called Smart Science, which is all about using the skills for learning in a science context so that's something that we've got involved in this year and will continue next year now we said that we're going to put air into there how are we going to put air into there we're going to pump air in there if you look there there's a hole in the top for the air to go in but once we put this nozzle in the top the air can't escape now then, who would like to come and have a go at pumping the air into our rocket? Larissa, up you come. OK, everybody. Are you watching, Kieran? Go for it. Oh, look at that. Our plans for science is to continue with the good work started so far, to continue getting the children and the staff to be really excited about science. This year we've had quite a focus on recording and linking literacy to science. Next year we want to have a look at focusing maths and science, linking those together. We obviously want to continue being able to allow visitors to come into school to enhance the children's science learning, organising lots of science trips. So basically just really trying to build on what we've started so far and with the training that I've received as science coordinator, hopefully I can pass that information on to staff.